Hello, it is Thursday, March 31st, 2022. I'm Chris Remo, and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It is a Thursday puzzle, so something maybe a little tricky today. This edition of the Daily Solve has been brought to us by Trash Snack, Josh Lucas, and as always, the inestimable Hood Monster. So thank you so much to the three of them, benefactors of the Daily Solve Patreon campaign. And if you'd like to join their ranks and get, I finally have it on my desk here, the Daily Solve Let's Check the Crosses mug. You can find that at patreon.com slash daily solve. But of course, if you back at any other tier, you um, still get access to all of the bonus video solves that have gone up on the channel to date, as well as the extra channel in the uh, Daily Solve Discord chat server. And thank you so much to everybody who has backed the Patreon campaign uh, for any amount uh, at any time. I, I do very much appreciate it. And um, actually, it's almost it's the day before uh, the new month. So if, you, if you've been waiting for that to jump in, then well, it's almost almost time. But thank you to everybody who has one way or the other. And um, I suppose that's it. Oh, I should mention, because I often forget, um, uh, do subscribe to the channel if you have not done so. If you're new, perhaps, or if you've been watching and you just haven't gotten around to subscribing, um, it's a good way to encourage YouTube to uh, encourage others, I suppose, to uh, find these videos. So thank you to everybody who has subscribed as well. Okay. Let's solve a Thursday puzzle. How about that? This is a crossword that has been constructed by Oliver Roeder. Uh, this is Oliver's second crossword for the New York Times, and it was edited, as always, by Will Shorts. So, like I say, it's a Thursday puzzle, probably something a little clever or unusual going on with the theme. We'll have to find out. But for, for now, let's start playing. Okay, to beat in chess. I, I assume that would be mate, as in checkmate. But let's check the um, let's check the crosses now in Spanish. Oh boy, really should know this, and I can't bring it to mind. Talks up some bridge positions. This doesn't mate doesn't seem very correct to me. I'm gonna delete that. What about the other crosses here? Frost could be. Horror or rhyme, perhaps. Um, so bridge positions would be norths, norths, souths, easts, or wests, because this is plural. So it would it can't be norths or souths, obviously, because of the number of letters. So I think it's easts or wests. So we can probably put in the STS there. Let's see if that helps boot. Well, you could boot somebody out of a position, for instance. You could oust them. I wonder if that's what this means. I'm not sure. Talks up. Probably ends in an S as well. Could be, I was thinking hypes, but that doesn't work with oust, of course. Thumbs up. Could be ascent, maybe. Is now a horror in Spanish? And that would actually allow this to be horror. That was what I thought. And then the crosses gave me some more confidence, but I wasn't confident enough. Beat in chess. Aced? So beat meaning uh, in past tense, I suppose. Yeah, it must be. So leader of the house band on The Muppet Show, Dr. Teeth. It used to be a bar in San Francisco named after Dr. Teeth. I don't think it's there anymore. Uh, talks up. Why do, I not, why do I not see what this is? Um, although this, and this doesn't seem like it can be very many things. Educator in a smock. I'm not sure. I wonder if this is something related to the theme. Let's, or I'm just missing something obvious. It's totally possible. Let's keep looking around. Astronomer who lost part of his nose in a sword duel. Was that... Was that Tycho Brahe or was that someone else? I remember that story, but I can't bring to mind who it was. 
Like decisions made on a dare, typically, they could be rash decisions. Oh, that would look right, actually. Oh, the, and then Stormy Weather Composer. Oh, I should know this as well. <laughs> this is a tricky puzzle I'm finding so far. Learn secondhand, hear of, maybe? Either end of a school bus would be the letter S, I think. If you look at the phrase school bus, each end of it is the letter S. And we have that question mark, meaning a bit of ponder wordplay going on here. So that's what's going on with the that end of. Takes a bit off. I mean, it could have to do with one taking time off or, I don't know, taking a bit of hair off in a haircut. Probably not that. Um, lases, maybe, or in terms of relaxing. Sorna y Nublar en Jurassic and Jurassic Park. Sorry, my friend. <laughs> Keep wanting to pronounce it like French because that's what I know better. Um, these would be islands, islas. Or islas? Boy, I'm, I'm really not, I'm, I'm, I'm not doing well. I'm not equating myself well with the Spanish today, am I? Should probably learn some more Spanish. Uh, low budget feature. A B, oh, a B picture. There we go. A B movie, a B picture and takes a bit off. Still not sure what's going on with that one. Educator in a smock. Oh, something teacher. Now what is going on here? I can't determine if I think this is something related to the theme or if I'm just I'm just being foolish. I'm not sure. Let's keep looking. Bit of letter-shaped hardware. Could be a T-nut. And readers jotting, e.g. Readers jotting. I'm not sure. What about this? Title derived from Caesar. So, czar derived from Caesar, Kaiser. Uh, also, the German Kaiser derived from the same. Uh, bluish hues could be teals, I would think. And thoroughbred, e.g., would be some kind of horse. Now, again, I'm wondering if this is something longer that has something related to the theme. What about this again? Readers jotting. Oh, annotation. There we go. You could annotate uh, a manuscript, for instance. Okay. Gusto would be Elan, panache style. Dot on a subway map. Well, I would assume this to be station. Get into trouble in a way. raise hell or something. I'm wondering again if this is something theme related or maybe I'm just not thinking of the answer. Kind of zone in a city. A no something zone perhaps. Don't on a subway map. So let's just play around a bit. If this were station and this were get into trouble. Rat eh, I don't know about that. Might just be stop, actually. <laughs> Much more simple than all of whatever else I'm thinking. Get into trouble in a way. Oh, rat on. Get somebody else into trouble. So I'm see the Thursdayness of this puzzle is is causing me to sort of see things where where there isn't anything. So this doesn't mean get oneself into trouble. It means get get someone else into trouble in a way. You could rat on them. I wonder if that's correct. Scan options for the claustrophobic. Open MRIs. Um, an MRI is a is a very um, it's a very narrow sort of test chamber that it's a full body test chamber, and so it might trigger claustrophobic uh, fears. So an open MRI. Uh, I've had regular MRIs. I've never had an open MRI, but presumably it's less that way. Kind of zone in a city. 
youngest player to score in the FIFA World Cup, age 17. Oh, perhaps the great, the great footballer Pele. I didn't know that fact necessarily, but I am aware of the player at least, which is something for me. Oh, here we go. Oh, reader's jottings or a hint to this puzzle's theme. That's funny. So we had reader's jottings over here, e.g., and then mirrored in the same position, uh, symmetrically, we have reader's jottings or a hint to this puzzle's theme. That is interesting. Okay, so we will need to figure that out at some point. Ranger's domain. And skim. So Rangers, I mean, I think that's a sport team, sports team, um, but it could be park range, national park rangers, something like that. I'm not sure. Let's keep looking. FedEx Cup organizer. Well, it's not FedEx, presumably. I don't know. This will be a, a game of some kind. I don't know what it is. Blank of war. Fog of war, perhaps? My first thought was art of war, but that would be... It, We'd, it would probably have a the in it, and war would be capitalized because it's it's the name of a book, um, name of a work. So I don't think so. It could be Fog of War in three letters, though. French equivalent. Uh, something around Egali equal. I'm not sure. Underway could be afoot. Some salads. May end in an S. Oh, 1948 literature Nobelist must be T.S. Eliot. So actually, right, it will end in an S. Some drinking vessels. Does that end in an S? <laughs> kind of milk or sauce? Yes, it does, because you could have soy sauce or soy milk. And two-word tribute to you, a simple tribute. Um, a Promised Land author, 2020. Oh, that was Obama's memoir, I believe. Um, sorry, I think I need to take this phone call. I will be right back. I'll pause the video for a moment. Pause the crossword. Okay, sorry about that. I That was just something important I had to deal with, but I'm all fine now. So let's see, some salads. Oh, actually with, with that O and B, this looks like Cobb salads, Cobb salads. I recognize that. I don't remember what is in a Cobb salad, but um, I have heard of it at least. Uh, some drinking vessels. This is still not looking very obvious to me. What about, oh, French equivalent, Egal, Egale maybe? Oh, wait, hold on a second. So this is racehorse. So what does that mean? Some drinking vessels. Oh, goblets. Wait, sorry, I... So this is not how I thought the theme was going to work. Um, so there's an R off of the grid, essentially, and here a G off of the grid. But what's strange is that that doesn't seem to be applying to the other across answers nearby. What does that mean? Takes a bit off. Okay, maybe this is more straightforward than I was making it. Let me, can I just find a letter that fits here? Oh, pairs. Right, you just pair a bit off. And then Stormy Weather Composer. I'm not recognizing this, unfortunately. Is it just Arl with an S? Skim? Let's, uh, let's just solve some more crossword and see what happens. Classic Jumbotron shout out. Well, now that, now that we have this, <laughs> method by which letters can run off the grid. I'm wondering if it's hi mom with the M off, for instance. Actually, yes, it looks like it is because dedicated works, the most classic of all um, poetic forms in the crossword would be odes. An ode could be dedicated to someone or something. Certain newspaper column can be an op-ed. Long locks, long locks of a hair, presumably. Side that usually has the most supporters would be the home team, logically. And a device used in interactive museum displays, an iPad, perhaps. What a hamburger button opens. So on a website, a hamburger button uh, is those three horizontal lines. I don't know if that's a commonly known phrase 
unfortunately I can't, there is one on the crossword page, but it's off screen where I am. And because of the way that I have this set up, there isn't any way for me to show it to you, but it's the, the three horizontal lines arranged vertically. And so they sort, you could imagine them looking like a stylized hamburger. Figure seen on Athena's shield. Oh, Medusa. So the A is off the grid. So what is... Oh, oh, someone's calling me again. Oh my goodness. Okay, sorry. I think I need to take this. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm back once again. I apologize. Let's, let's get back to this baffling puzzle. Okay, so we just filled out Medusa, I think. And so now I'm actually thinking... Aha! Now I see what's going on with this chess thing. Yes. So the letter that comes off the side of the grid on the right is the same letter that we use on the left side of the grid, if you see what I mean. So here we had hi mo, hi mom, and that M wraps around and opens this answer, beat in chest. So it's not aced, it's it is it's mated. So I was sort of on the right track when I said mate to to beat someone in chess, to to mate, to checkmate them. Um, but in fact, as I then later inferred through aced, beat in this case is actually a past tense. So we need mated. So the M begins the word and then we conclude it with this ated. And then, oops, over here, oh, well, we never looked at this. So long locks is a mane, so a mane of hair. So that's, that's straightforward. Um, but here we have Medusa and the A going off the grid. And then that combines with, well, that begins educator in a smock to create art teacher. So here we have what looks like RT teacher, but it's art teacher because we're sharing the A with Medusa. So then talks up, ah, of course, touts. You're going to tout the virtues of somebody or some something. Okay, so this is all making more sense. I'm very pleased about finally getting this. So anyway, let's let's keep looking. So thoroughbred would be a e.g. would be a racehorse. So a thoroughbred, for example, could be a racehorse. And then that will mean we will have an R at the end of this. Okay, well, that's not necessarily helpful to me. I don't know any, I don't have any more clues about who the FedEx Cup organizer is than I did before. But let's keep looking because this this is this is exciting. So <laughs> some drinking vessels are goblets, and then kind of zone in a city. Oh, no parking zone. There we go. Okay, so no parking and oblets uh, sharing a G. Okay, great. Things things are happening here. So most of a sugar cane. It's stock, presumably. Uh, Marissa of In the Bedroom. I don't think I know In the Bedroom, but Marissa Tomei is certainly a name. And writer Sontag, Susan Sontag. It's a funny fact. I once uh, narrated a biography of Susan Sontag. So if you're interested in learning quite a bit about Susan Sontag and hearing me tell you about it, you can listen to the audiobook of Susan Sontag, The Making of an Icon by Carl Rollison and Lisa Paddock. <laughs> um, okay, Rangers Domain. For, oh, Forest Rangers, right. Yes, of course. FedEx Cup organizers. Okay. Oh, PGA Tour, perhaps? Is the pe is FedEx Cup a golf thing, maybe? I'm guessing it is. Fancy Pants could be a fop. And Skim. Oh, No Fat. Oh, Arlen, Stormy Weather Composer. Why do I not remember who this is? That's very frustrating. Uh, but Skim Milk is No Fat Milk, for instance. Ah, and reader's jottings or a hint to this puzzle's theme, marginalia. There we go. Uh, very clever. So that that's a that's a sort of an impressive mirroring here of the double reader's jottings in the in the um, equivalent parts of the grid. This one being un unrelated to the theme, as far as I can tell, and this one defining the theme. So we have marginalia. We have writings in the margins. So PGA tour, etc. Everything we had. Okay. What about this bottle topper? I'm not sure. And put on sale, say repriced or retagged. Uh, not sure about that yet. Profession in an O'Neill title. Um, Eugene O'Neill, presumably. Who would this be? Uh, 
keep thinking the postman always rings twice, but no, it would be the Iceman cometh. Uh, so here we go. We have an I off the grid. What? Oh my goodness, my phone today is just ridiculous. Uh, what should be made by filling a, gl a glass with gin and waving it in the general direction of Italy, per Noel, Noel Coward? A dry martini, as they say. Um, the driest of martinis. <laughs> um, making reference, in, in case you're, I don't know, in case you're not familiar with martinis, I guess, to the um, presence of only a hint of vermouth, a dry vermouth, Italian vermouth. Okay, so Dry Martin and C.E. Man here. And I wonder, so are these following any sort of pattern? Are these spelling something maybe? So we have M-A-R-G. Oh, it's margin. <laughs> I, yes, so there's gonna, there, it's going to spell margin. So let's see, if we go down here, geekish, yes, that would be nerdy or erdy in our puzzle. And then big name and printers will end in N. Epson is a printer manufacturer. So there we go. We've spelled out margin in our left and right margins. And now we can finish off the puzzle. Tried something, a case, something that is tried. So this is a bit of misdirection here. We have the question mark indicating a bit of wordplay going on. And here it's that we're referring to the th something that is tried as opposed to the verb tried something at any time ever. The blue part of blue cheese is mold. Oops, oops, ah. Dissolve, melt away. And to, to declare something is to avow it. Uh, Award-winning ward, sell award. So I've, I've heard that, that actor's name. So far could be to date and densely packed in a way. Mm. I actually can't think of what this is. Sorry. What about this? About 0.914 meters would be a yard. Um, a yard is three feet and a meter is roughly three feet. Kid lit character with a green suit and gold crown. Oh, Babar, Babar the elephant. I remember Babar. Uh, and that sounds right. Pow, bam, I guess. And chess is to check as Go is to Atari for which the video game developer Atari was named. I think I learned that by way of the crossword recently because of the um, clue about the name of the Atari logo, which was the Fuji, I think. Fixes is men's and, oh, densely packed in a way is urban. So you could have a dense urban environment, a densely packed urban environment. Bottle topper, put on sale, say. Um, Put on sale. Oh, oh, reprice. I kept thinking, for some reason, I kept assuming put was past tense. It has been, it already is put on sale, put on sale in the past. But no, it means to put something on sale in the present, to reprice it. So there we go. Don't know why I was stuck on that. Watch out for that. I suppose this a similar thing could have happened with beat and chess, although I did it did occur to me that time, but not not with this one. Under the sink fixture. Oh, a trap. A, uh, you have that U, maybe it's a U trap actually, because it's, you have that U-shaped um, pipe bend. That's, that's the trap. So is it bottle topper? Uh, maybe not. Nipple? Is it a P trap? That would also, it could also describe the shape. As in a baby bottle in this case. Animals depicted on the Ishtar gate. Lions, I would say. And film composer Morricone is Ennio Morricone. So let's just check the crosses there. Mid-range club. Sure, I suppose it's an iron golf club. And pretty please, can I? Looks right. So there we go. Okay. Um, a, a very fun theme. And it really baffled me for a while there. So let's just go over it once again. We have um, beat in chess. Uh, Aited and Hemo, sharing the M to create Mated and Hi Mom. We have um, RT Teacher and Meduse sharing... Uh, did I say sharing an A? Sharing an M to make Mated and Hi Mom. Um, RT Teacher and Meduse sharing an A to make Art Teacher and Medusa. Ace Horse and PGA2 sharing 
an R to make Racehorse and PGA Tour. Um, Oblets and No Parkin sharing a G to make Goblets and No Parking. CE Man and Dry Martin sharing an I to make Iceman and Dry Martini. And finally, Erdy and Epso sharing an N to make Nerdy and Epson. And altogether, those spell margin, running down the left and right margin as suggested by the clue marginalia. So that was an incredibly clever theme, I think. And in keeping with the Thursday tradition, uh, very disorienting at first. It was clear there was something going on. I mean, I, I think right from the beginning of the puzzle, I could tell something was going on in this region, but I really couldn't tell what. I thought it was going to be a rebus for a while, but, and I think I tried a rebus somewhere just to see, uh, and it didn't, uh, it didn't add up to anything. Um, I tried it with that stop. The, uh, I thought maybe the um, subway circle was station rather than stop, but no. Uh, so yes, a very a very tricky puzzle, uh, it, get it, getting that theme nailed down. But of course, once you do, it does make everything much easier. Once you're, once you're looking out for that gimmick, it makes things easier, uh, as it did in this case. Um, but boy, that was a tough, tough start theme-wise, although not necessarily brutally difficult clues otherwise. I don't know. Let me know how you felt about that. And with that, um, we didn't have any uh, answers from the previous day's puzzle the last two days, but we do have a few today. So let's let's address those. Um, so Dances with Logic um, reminds me, I, I got this wrong, that the little... Um, oops, sorry. The little um, curved, I don't even know how you would describe this, but the, the shape that goes underneath a C, the accent that can go underneath a C in some languages such as French, um, I think I referred to as, a, as the, the circumflex or circumflex in French. Uh, Dances with Logic says, the circumflex is the French accent that looks like a little hat, the little carrot. The one that dangles, the one I was referring to, is the cedilla, la cedille. Sorry about that. Um, that I got that completely wrong. And then Remy adds, and I'll add, uh, écu, which was the old French currency, doesn't have a cédille, so you pronounced it right the first time. Is it cédille or cédi? I always get that wrong. Boy, my pronunciation, my languages today are just a complete disaster. I'm very sorry. Anyway, écu um, was how I think I first said it, and as Remy said, would be the correct way. Speaking of things I got wrong... <laughs> Dragon Traces reminds me, and I should have remembered this from a few weeks ago, shimmy is a dance and not a synonym for shinny. That usage is mistaken, though sadly common. And then Laura Sexton added, so true, uh, too many people repeating a mishearing of shinny. Um, Thor Christensen uh, adds, if it's that common, maybe it should be adopted. Meanings do change over time and are often fickle to human usage. I personally had never heard the word shinny before. Um, and yes, I, I think I'm, I'm sort of sympathetic to both <laughs> both sides of this, to be totally honest. Um, I do tend to prefer using the more accepted word uh, where I can, but I am also, um, I'm not a strict, strict uh, prescriptivist. I, 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 do, I do acknowledge and admit that language evolves purely based on common usage. Um, language has changed, the language has changed enormously over the centuries. And the only reason it does really is because people use it differently. So there's really no, um, it's ultimately, um, it's ultimately a fool's errand to get too upset about that. Um, but within reason, I think it's, I think it's perfectly reasonable and fair. Well, within reason, it's reasonable. Um, I, I do think it's reasonable to try and, uh, uh, use words within their existing accepted meaning, but um, while, while acknowledging that one cannot stop the uh, march of time. Okay, so uh, that was it. Just had those two. So that's it for yesterday's clues. That's it for today's puzzle. A, a fun and uh, tricky theme as befits a Thursday puzzle. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, please do subscribe to the channel. And if you particularly enjoyed it, why not tell a friend? you could recommend they subscribe to this channel. And then we'd have uh, two new subscriptions, not just one. And maybe that would make the YouTube robot even more enthusiastic about recommending this uh, very sedate YouTube channel to other people. 
Uh, thank you to everybody who's done so. I'll be back tomorrow, of course, for the Friday puzzle. I hope you join me then. Uh, but until that point, please do have an excellent remainder of your Thursday. Take care. Mm-hmm.